Hi you all and welcome to Draw Along With Me. Today we'll be designing this vintage toy Model T in the Procreate app for iPad. Let's start by changing the background color. Click on the Layers panel, tap Background Color, and select a color for your background. Tap Done. Click on the color circle. Select the color that you'd like for this part of the car. I've already got mine selected, it's this one here. Click on the S-shaped ribbon tool. Make sure it's on rectangle and that color fill is turned on. Place the pencil on the screen and drag out and down as long as you'd like that part of the car to be. Lift up, click on the ribbon to get out of that. Click on the eraser tool, tap it again, and find calligraphy monoline. Make sure the opacity is at 100, and change the eraser size to something that you'd like. Let's start on this side, it will be the back of the vehicle. Erase a curve, then erase a straight line. It can be at an angle, but it doesn't have to be. If you'd like it to be precise, you can zoom in and tap line to make sure the edge is exactly how you'd like it to be. Tap the eraser to get out of that. Erase the rest of it, or you can use the ribbon tool on freehand without color fill to wrap this shape, and the arrow to drag it out of the canvas. Click the arrow or the ribbon to get out of that. Snap with two fingers to get back to the largest size. This corner does not need to be rounded as it will get covered, so we don't need to worry about that. You can make this point softer if you'd like. That looks a little bit better to me. Next, erase a curve for the back area of the vehicle. Edit it if you want or need to. Use the eraser on a big brush size if you'd like to, or the ribbon tool to take this part out. Smooth the edges if you like to do that. Keep in mind some of this will get covered. Next, using the eraser, let's cut out the part where the driver would be. Now the front area here is going to be kind of long, so we don't want to take away from that too much. Erase here. Next, we will erase down. This part will be basically straight, however this area is long, so just make sure to move it back if you need to, to make this long enough. Erase straight across, put your finger down, zoom in whenever you want or need to, to kind of fill in those shapes, and erase this part where the driver would be. I have a bit of a funny line here, so I will press and hold my brush tool to get the same brush, which is calligraphy monoline, and I will try to color that in. Although some of these pieces will get kind of cut off, so it won't matter too terribly much. 
This area will get covered, so we don't need to erase there, but this part up front might not, so let's erase a tiny bit of a curve here. And clean up any funny edges that you've got, and we'll continue. Use your arrow at any time to move this using freeform or uniform. If you want to resize, use uniform and drag one of the corners out to make it bigger or in to make it smaller. Click on the Layers panel, tap the plus symbol to add a new layer to, click on the color circle, and choose black or whatever you'd like for the base of the car. Tap to get out of that. Draw a line underneath the car, leave the pencil on the screen so it straightens out, put your finger down, and lift up. Click on the Layers panel. On this layer, swipe left, tap duplicate, use the arrow to make this go up to probably about there. Click the brush tool to get out of that. Tap on the layers panel and pinch to merge these two layers together. Now connect the lines however you'd like to, with either a curve or a straight line. Drag and drop to fill in the color. Pinch with two fingers to get back to large size. Draw along this line. Draw straight up here. Leave the pencil on the screen and put your finger down. Use this button at any time with your quick shapes to place them where you'd like them to be. So this one is going to be a bit of a curve down, as is this one back here. And it probably needs to end right about here, so let's go ahead and draw a curve from here to here. And you can use the arc button to change the dots around until you like the placement. Then drag and drop to fill the color. Move over here and do the same thing. Drag and drop to fill the color. Pinch with two fingers to get back to the largest size. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer. Here we'll begin to add the top. Make your brush size bigger whenever you want or need to. Let's draw a line here, here, and here that are straight up. Draw the line, leave the pencil on the screen, place your finger, and then do that again in those three places. I think I'll make each of these a little bit thicker, so I might just make my brush size 100% and try that again. There we go already looks a little bit better. Great. The bottom of the top up here is going to be pretty flat too, so we can draw a line. Leave the pencil on the screen, put your finger down, and then definitely resize it to where you'd like it to be. I'd like it to be basically over the driver, um, and then it will curve up. From here to here, we can draw another straight line. And then from here to here, another straight line. Both of these are kind of the supports. Good. On the back area, draw a bit of a curve. Then draw a straight line. And you can tap the line button whenever you want or need to to adjust this. I'm trying to make it match pretty well. Click on the brush to get out of that. On this end, draw a curve up how you'd like it to be.
try, try again when you don't get something right the first time. No big deal. Draw a bit of a curve from here to here or a straight line if you prefer. Sometimes you need to just exaggerate a curve if it doesn't work, if it snaps to a straight line like that to make it extreme, then tap edit and then you can adjust it as you like. I do want it to be slightly curved, but honestly not super curved. Drag and drop to fill the color. You can clean up any funny edges and then we'll move on. Because this is a toy, there are little bars here and here that these are hooked on. So on mine, I will go ahead and add kind of a little curve here. I'll erase this part back first and then add the curve as I like it and you can do the same. Or if you want to make it more realistic, by all means do so. I'll make my brush size a smidge smaller and add a curve here. I might just go ahead and add a perfect circle, see if that looks good and erase out the bottom. These are little clips that you can attach the uh, top onto the toy with, but you don't have to. You could leave the top off of the car if you want. Once you've got it how you like it to be, you could recreate it over here or just use the ribbon tool on freehand to wrap it as best you can without cutting any pieces off. Use a three finger swipe down, duplicate, use your arrow without touching the blue dots, place it where it should go on this one. Click on the layers panel and you can pinch to merge those two together. So now we've got the top, the bottom, the base of the car. Great. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer and here on layer four we will begin to make the tires. Tap anywhere to get out of that. Make sure you're on the brush tool. Draw a circle or an oval. Leave the pencil on the screen. Then put your finger on the screen to size the circle to however big you'd like it to be for your tires. Once you've got it, drag and drop to fill the color. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer here. Click on the color circle and choose a gold for yours. Let's add the gold to the tire. Make a small circle first. Leave the pencil on the screen Put your finger down to make it a perfect circle. Using the arrow, try and place that in the center of the other circle that we already made for the tire. As long as your snapping is on, you can find those two crossing blue lines, which will be the center of the black circle. Click on the layers panel, tap the plus symbol to add a new layer, draw another circle with this gold or whatever color you selected. Put your finger down to make it a perfect circle. Click on the arrow to once again center it with those blue lines. Click on the layers panel plus symbol to add a new layer. There are nine spokes here on the toy, but I'm just going to make it simpler by drawing a straight line down, placing my finger there. To make it perfectly vertical, moving it by tapping that button. Clicking the layers panel, swiping, duplicating, tapping the arrow, rotating 45 degrees twice. Click on the layers panel, pinch to merge those two together. Swipe left, duplicate, arrow tool, rotate 45 again. It's not perfect but it's close. Pinch to merge those together. 
use the eraser to take out the inside part and any funny edges if you see them on the outside. Miraculously, I don't have any on mine, so I'll continue. Click on the layers panel, pinch to merge the gold pieces together, like that. Swipe right on the black circle, tap group. Click on the little V-shape to collapse the group together. Now it's all selected in this new group. Use the arrow to place it. And if you need to, on uniform, make it bigger or smaller. So I'll make mine a bit smaller. So hopefully I can fit it in this space. There's gonna be a little bit of a bar here and a little bit of a bar here. Click on the layers panel, swipe, duplicate, arrow tool, snapping and magnetics can be on. Drag this one over to its place in the front, wherever you think yours should be. Click on the arrow to get out of that. I think I'll move mine even further forward here in the front. I think mine needs to be a little bit further up. Maybe this one needs to be a little bit further back. Click on the layers panel. Tap on layer two, use the large end to make it a little bit see-through. Add a layer here. Go to the color circle, select the black that you had before. Here we'll add the pieces that go here and here. So from here up, ooh, maybe with the largest brush size, we can make it basically straight. Probably about here up. And then we can add a straight line here or a curve. I think I'll turn mine just a little bit. Place your finger on the screen at the same time if you'd like it to be perfectly horizontal or vertical. Zoom in whenever you need to, to make sure that something is placed the way you like. Click on the brush to get out of that. So I want this to be double the thickness, I think, so click on the layers panel, swipe, duplicate, arrow tool, and we'll just move it down a little bit. That looks just about right, but I'll fix the end. Pinch to merge it together. Then use the eraser on monoline or the brush tool, whatever you prefer, to fix the front. When you have it how you like it, zoom out to the largest size, and we'll do the next one. Add a new layer whenever you want or need to, and let's keep going. Draw a straight line above the tire. Put your finger down to make it perfectly horizontal. Use this button to move it, if you like. Tap on the layers panel, swipe left, duplicate, move this down if you like. Pinch to merge them together. Use the eraser or the brush to fix up the end. Great. Click on the layers panel, add a new layer. Let's make the curve from here down. Edit arc whenever you want or need to. I think I'd like it to look a little bit like the curve of the tire. 
though it doesn't need to be perfect. Click on the Layers panel, swipe, duplicate, use the arrow tool to move it to make it about the same thickness. Click on the Layers panel, pinch to merge these two together, and click on this one and erase any extra that you've got over here. Zoom in whenever you need to. I'm trying to erase a curve to make it hopefully easier and edit the arc. Looking at this point so that I don't cut it off in a funny way. Looks like it's just about right. Click the layers panel, zoom back out. Pinch to merge these three together. Click on this layer, tap it again, click select, make sure color fill is off. Click invert. Click on the layers panel, go here to this layer. Use your eraser to cut the ends off of it if you have any excess like I do. Click on the ribbon to get out of that. Click on the layers panel. Go back to this layer two, click on the large N and bring the opacity up. Click the plus symbol to add a new layer. Press and hold this layer, let it jump in the air and drag it out into the left and then down to the bottom. Let it go. Using black, let's add in the toy steering wheel using the brush tool, of course. So I'll make my brush size a little bit smaller, probably back to 70%. That looks a little bit better. Click on the layers panel, plus symbol to add a new layer. Draw uh, an oval. And then add the lines across it how you like them to be. Click on the arrow. You can resize it using uniform and then place it. Turn off magnetics if it gets annoying. Resize as needed and place the steering wheel where you'd like it to be. Brush tool to get out of that. If you'd like to make it thicker, definitely trace the lines and edit it as needed. Two finger quick pinch to get back to the largest size. Click on the layers panel, pinch to merge those two together. Go to this layer, which is your the base of the car. Add a layer here, click on the color circle and choose that gold you were working with before. Here in the back, we'll add little gold pieces and in the front as well. However, if you'd like to move your tires down a little bit, click on the layers panel, tap on one of these layers, swipe right, use the arrow, and then drag it down or tap, tap, tap to move it down. Click on the layers panel, go back to that layer, and let's add the gold pieces in. I'll zoom in so you can see this area. Draw a little box back here and put a dot on top of it. Move over to the other side. Draw a straight line down. Put your finger down if you'd like it to be perfectly straight. Use this button to move it whenever you want or need to. Brush tool.
draw a straight line down, put your finger down to make it straight, draw a line across the top, put your finger down to make it straight. Make sure it's closed back there and then drop the color in. Use the ribbon tool on freehand and the arrow if you need to move it over. Use the eraser if you'd like to make a curve for these top pieces. Change the size as needed. Keep playing with these pieces until you like them. I think I'll go back to this layer and fix up my curve just a little bit. Right here. Much better. On top of this one as well, we'll put a little gold dot. However you'd like yours to be. Hide these lines if it helps you. Stay on this layer with the gold and add the lights and how you like them to be. Click on the layers panel. Tap on this layer. Add a layer here. Use your gold color and the monoline brush to add in some pipes and other fixtures here. With the largest brush size, I'll add a straight line here. And I'll make it perfectly straight by putting my finger down. Zoom in with a two finger pinch out. Click on the layers panel. Swipe left, duplicate, use the arrow, tap, tap, tap to make it wider. Click on the layers panel to get out of that. Pinch to merge those two together. And if you have any funny edges, definitely clean them up. Mine look all right this time. With the brush tool, we'll add in some ovals going all the way up. Use the arrow on freeform if you need to make it thinner or make any other adjustments. I'll make mine shorter and thinner. Click on the layers panel, add another layer and draw a straight line here, a straight line here. Connect these two together kind of with a curve on both sides. Zoom in whenever you want or need to. Drag and drop to fill the color. Use your eraser on monoline to clean anything up that you want to. So I'm just straightening everything out just a little bit. Add some little plastic sides here. Connect these lines together with a straight line, if you like. You can edit it though if you need to.
using the largest brush size and perhaps adding another layer, make some straight pipes going up. So I've just drawn a line and another line together and I'm just gonna duplicate that. Click on the Layers panel, swipe left, duplicate, arrow tool, move it over to where you'd like it to be. As always, whenever you want to adjust something, just go to that layer, adjust it as needed. So I'm just using Freeform with the arrow tool to make this kind of smaller. Layers panel, pinch to merge those two together. Use the arrow tool on the correct layer to move them to where you'd like them to be. So I'm trying to find that center blue line, though it's not perfectly even, so it's not gonna be perfectly centered. Pinch to merge these two together. I'm going to use the arrow tool to move it closer to this one as uh, on the toy that I have, that's kind of where it's at. Also, I think I will adjust the background piece for this. So I'll go to that layer and erase it back to where I want it to be. And you can do the same whenever you want or need to. Great. Above this layer, actually, I'd also like to add some dots like you see on the front of the car. So here I'm going to add a layer and I'll use the brush tool but I'll make a copy of monoline by duplicating it. Tap here and under spacing, I'll just bring it apart to see if it won't work for me. I'll tap done here and with a different color that I can see, I'll test it. These are too big, so I'll try making it smaller. And it's a little too far apart, so I'll tap here and make the spacing less. And just try and try again until I like it. And I think I like that one. So if you like that idea, go ahead and try it yourself. Place a finger on the color that you want to collect. That's your eyedropper tool. It will go to the color circle. Change the color to what you'd like it to be. I do like that, so I'll keep it. So here I'm going to make the... I've lost my new layer, so if that ever happens to you, sometimes when the palm hits the screen, it will just undo, just add a new layer. So now I'm gonna add my lines, my dot lines, I should say. And I'll straighten them whenever I want or need to, and you can do the same. You can also move them the same as we move everything else. Add a new layer whenever you want to. So I just didn't want to have an extra blob on mine. And I'm trying to get the same kind of a spacing. I'll put it on that one, but I will erase one of them here. And I'll cut out the other ones over here with the ribbon tool on freehand and the arrow. Now I'll just duplicate this one, swipe left, duplicate, and use the arrow to drag it down. Those little blue dots are so nice. And I think that'll do. You can pinch to merge these ones together if you did that too. Definitely use the arrow to place them where you'd like them to be. So I'm just moving them further forward on my drawing. Great. Make sure you're back on the brush tool and the normal monoline and add in more details like that if you'd like to, to this part of the car before we start adding textures and highlights or shading. So I think I'll make kind of like a few lines back here that I see on the toy. Um, but, you know, it's kind of whatever you want, so just have fun with it.
Click on the Layers panel, tap on this layer, which is the roof, add a layer, tap on this layer, and select Clipping Mask. Here you can change your blending mode around. I'm going to try Add. Next, go to the Brush tool and choose a texture for the top of the roof. It's really whatever you like. The one I will do is going to be probably from Charcoal, so maybe I'll do uh, one of these. probably at a big, big brush size. And just maybe like a straight line. So then I'll use this line to place it where I'd like it to be. Use the arrow on warp if you'd like to try to give it a little bit of a warp to the top of the roof. That'll be fine for mine. Arrow to get out of that. Click on the Layers panel, scroll to the very top, tap on the top layer, and plus symbol to add a new layer. Here you can click the large N and change it to Add. Click on the Brush tool and go to Calligraphy, Monoline, Inking, Studio Pen, whatever you prefer, to add in some kind of like highlights all over your toy. Change the brush size as needed. Keep the opacity at 100 if you prefer. You can always turn down the opacity of the layer by tapping this large N. Add your highlights however you like them to be and have fun.
All right, you all, if you've added as many highlights as you would like, we'll continue. Click on the Layers panel, and here we're going to make sure we're on this layer. I'll uh, check and uncheck it so you know which one I'm talking about. Add a layer here, tap on this layer, and select Clipping Mask. Click on the large N and switch this to Add. You can use the same brush if you'd like, but I will try Airbrushing Soft Brush. Here, let's just add underneath a little bit of a glow. Now we'll just need to take out part of it with the ribbon tool on freehand with no color fill. From here to here. Use the arrow tool to say goodbye to that. Click on the arrow to get out of that. Tap on the layers panel. Definitely use that large A to bring it down to what you prefer for your picture. Very subtle, I think, on mine, just to make sure that everything is showing. And reads well. I think on mine, I'll take out this piece and this. So I've clicked on this layer using the eraser on monoline. I think I'll just cut this part out. Doesn't read super well on mine. If you like it on yours, keep it. Um, but otherwise, take it out as well. And change your highlights if you need to. I think mine are OK. Snap with two fingers to get back to the largest size. Thank you so much for joining me here today to design this vintage toy model tee in the Procreate app for iPad. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your results and tag me if you like so I can see what you did. Otherwise, have a nice day and see you next time.